you're done. Oh, Brilliant. <laughs> that one's <was> a cake. <laughs> that was a. Uh, I'm so pleased. I am so pleased. So here we go back at Morgan Lakes. Uh, as you can see in front of you, we have a diagram of our swims and also of our fishing positions. Now they would have changed slightly throughout the week, however, but our basic starting point was here. Uh, you can see there are two lakes, there is the Cat Lake on the left and you have the Carp Lake on the right. Fishing from peg one was Andy, myself was on peg two and Dave was on peg three. There is a noticeable difference in the amount of water between each swim, but that's how we decided to split it up, and that's how it worked for us. Okay, We all drew straws, flip coins, whatever, and that's how it worked out. If you look at the Cat Lake, you will see there are only two swims that we fish from, point A and point B. Point A was off the jetty or the pontoon bridge, with whatever you want to call it, and point B was what we called suicide swim. You had to go there and you had to be there on your own all day because you couldn't go around to the pontoon because it was too far off your rods. Also note the only uh, rod that could be in at the same time was uh, swim one and point A. If you fished at point A and swim one at the same time you could keep all your rods in the water. Point, uh, swims two and three we had to reel in if we wanted to fish the carp lake because it's just you just far too off your rods and it makes perfect sense. So there you go, Cat Lake left and uh, Carp Lake right. The feed line, now the, re the reason in the Carp Lake you will see the yellow line going across is every morning you would see fizzing and bubbles coming up from the bottom of the lake and the carp seem to feed at that point all the way across the lake. Um, however, <laughs> I could only catch one of them. Dave did alright and Andy did alright but I only got one out of that lake. Uh, so there you go. So. Just because they're feeding there doesn't always necessarily mean they're going to take your bait. So, which is interesting. So that's the first introduction to the lake. Let's have a, a closer look at what's going on. Hello and welcome back to MAFT UK. We have myself, Dave. Hello. <laughs> We've got Andy coming up. Andy coming up the rear. And there he is. Welcome back to MAFT UK. Uh, we are at Morgan Lakes in France. Uh, we have exclusively booked two lakes. We have the Carp Lake here and just to my left over there we have the Catfish Lake. Um, it is a tremendous complex. And as you can see behind me we have our cabin um, from I think it, we think it's from Davy Crockett World from Paris Disney World. Uh, and uh, of course they're a bit dated so they, they sold them off and all the areas, all the lakes have cabins like that on them, so it's quite good. Here we good go, here's complex. Dave's bivvy. What type of bivvy is that, Dave? It's my bivvy, Matt. It's, it's a Dave's bivvy, okay. Yeah. And where are you fishing at this moment? Uh, next to my bivvy, Matt. I thought you said you were in No Carp Bay. Oh, yeah, it's No Carp Bay, I've called it because I've said No Carp. Have you got a bivvy, Matt? I have a bivvy, yeah. My bivvy, have I just found pan back out again you can see have you got a bivy carpet i have yeah they are better than me but that's an old st1 that i recently got very good for this area and yeah and then we'll zoom out a little bit more uh, a new Nash carpet. andy what have you got there andy it's a tracker tempest one run, but b2 it up okay tracker tempest one, two, v2 right. b2 yeah, v2 and then yeah the best bit is dun, dun, dun. the screen house so that's our setup we're all at this end that's not too far away but dave's not in there anyhow dave is actually fishing at this moment in time the cat lake so he's only just over our shoulders so he's not that far off his rods before anybody starts so here we are, only been here, fish, days have only been fishing a couple hours, We're already into his first take but we may think about to go in the boat. We're snagged up I wanna, I, and I, it's not that I want to watch you fall in or anything. Well it's definitely gone around the snag, I can feel it because I'm on braid, it's, yeah. it's caught around a root or something. If right. I get above it I might be able to free it. Yeah right well that's it, in you go. You taking your beer with you? Good lad. Bon voyage, messieurs. And so off they go. And welcome to Calamity Catfishing. Well, 
Well, our first bit of action, but unfortunately um, it got off. Uh, it got itself snagged up and managed to free itself from the hook, but we got all the rig back, everything's back, so we, we know it's not trailing anything, everything's fine. Um, just a bit disappointing really, but there you go. That's just the way it is. Never mind, never mind Dave. Obviously it would uh, be rather uncouth not to have wine whilst in France, especially French wine. Um, obviously you've got to warm the outer side of your glass first by sticking them around your ears, apparently. I can hear the sea. This, this, this must be a French thing. <laughs> One thing you may not anticipate when fishing in Europe is the frogs. And I don't mean that derogatory. I mean, literally, frogs. It fought like a bastard, I know that. A few hours later. No, by the look of it. 26.11. 26.11. It's a start. Good start. Should we get a pick? Yeah, we'll have a little picky off it. Well, we've got a blank off the main thing, innit? There we go. It's the first one out of the water. First thing in the morning, just coming first light. Another blank. And it was taken on my white boilies and pop-up. Oh, Look at that. Keen to go back, little bastard. That's how you release a fish. I tell you what. Well done, mate. Good release. I tell you what, that was a hell of a fight for Wasn't a small it? fish. Yeah, it was. It took, it took 20, 20 minutes to go. get The amazing Mr. P is pulling in his first one. Oh, it's over 30, which is nice. Very good. Over uh, Magic Mr. P's special mix. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Andy. Well done, mate. Thank you. Well done. Brilliant. Off the mark. Here we go. It starts. What I need to do now is get this bait back out onto that spot again and then concentrate on my other two rods because they don't appear to have moved at all over the last 24 hours, which uh, isn't so good, really. So uh, let's find out what's going on. Let's try maybe a different position or some different baits, but keep the amount of bait that's going in to a minimum until I find those spots. That's that's the baiting up that I'm using. That's how I'm doing. I'm 12 wraps out to my marker that I've got out there. Nothing fancy, nothing extraordinary going on with a Ronnie rig. Uh, it's produced the first fish, so let's hope it produces another one. Simple tactics, but there you go. Plenty of flavour in the water too. Um, with the pellets, there's lots of different breakdown rates in there, and I quite like that. Um, there's 3mm, 6mm, 8mm pellets, and also I've got some riser pellets just mixed in as well, just so I've always got this 3D thing going on as an area of food as opposed to just lying on the bottom, so that's what I like, or how I like to fish. Look, there is a prominent gap in here. So I'm pushed, I'm 12 wraps out straight towards that point there. And if I do that, I'll get on the same spot every single time, like I am now. Just come back, make sure the line's slack, so when it does drop, everything drops in the same place. And I don't have my bait one area. Here we go, let's get rid of that. And you watch the boat bounce and the bomb doors are released. People can ask, well, why, if you're not putting that much bait out, why are you using the bait boat? It's only 12 wraps. You don't need a bait boat, I could quite happily spod that range, no problem at all, and get the same amount of bait out in a relatively close area. Yes, you can. Um, one, I'm being lazy, and two, I've got a bait boat. 
We're going to be cheeky and we're going to have a quick look at Andy's bait. So Andy's got 10, 16 and 20s in there as well. Wow, there you are. So a good mix of sticky baits, all same flavour. Sorry. Maize, boiled at home before we brought, we brought it. We all, our street smelt like a maize factory earlier this week because I was cooking my maize, Andy was cooking his. Really good stuff and this is the one that matters. Look at that, chopped boilies, chopped tiger nuts. Lots of good stuff in that one. Really good bait. Dave is into his pooty cat. This is, this is ice. Yeah. Oh, it's it's not bad, Dave. Well, there's a TV there, so it's over 30, I think. Though. Yeah, let's grab it by the chops. Watch out for that hole. Yeah, I did say grab it by the chops. That's what you got to do, unfortunately. You have to put your hand inside a leather glove and put your hand then inside the fish's mouth, which, if you've never done that before, can be quite daunting. Unfortunately, um, we have, so this isn't the first time we've done this, but um, yeah, take some practice, take some getting used to. Well done, Dave. Thank okay. you. What did you catch it on? It was on those special hookers, Someone else's, fish hookers. Someone else's boilies. And uh, this time you got the right rigs for the right job. Oh yeah, bought a specific, yeah, uh, yeah. specific gear for cats. This I is a PB cat. I do man. like your boat rod. That boat rod's worked perfect on here, hasn't it? Yeah, I think you can lift it up. Okay. Oh yes. Three I've got. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Draw a few release ones, we'll slide yeah. it in. Yeah, slide the devil in. Bye bye, Puddy Cat. Bye bye, Uncle Just gonna go. Just an hour ago, Dave caught his first catfish, and now he's into his first carp off this complex as well. So let's have a look at how Dave gets on with this one. But he passes by uh, that, sir. Yes. Good lad. See, don't they fight like crazy? Yeah. Oh, there she is. Got some battle scars that one, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, they've been spawning, haven't they? There we go. That's forty-three, forty-three, fifteen. 43.5. 43.5, sorry, yeah. I'm adding, adding extra on. Put me back, you bastard. Done. Cat number three, please. Sixty-five three. Sixty-five three. You see that? We believe you. Good man. Have you done, have you done this before? No. It's pretty horrible. It's pretty. You just got to clamp on and forget about everything. Clamp. You just have to click. It'll shake its head as soon as you. 
So you need a strong grip. Well, the hook's right in the middle though. Oh, it, oh. It's right in the middle of its mouth. Don't get them gloves wet, Andy. What's that? Well done. Bad. We've got the waist slip. Oh, this is under. We had 69.15. Oh. 69. It's going down. 69 nights was it farted. Matthew, Matthew, give us a smile. Matthew, give us a smile. It is this going to be my revenge? This is it. We've, you're, you're off your mark on your catfish. Yeah, revenge catfish. Oh, you're in the bushes, mate. So it's worth though, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> I like how your lead just sort of helps hook them. This is not no problem. Especially with the hooks the size that you two are using. Broken, please. Close, was it? Yeah, it's out. That was. If that had gone on a bit longer, you could have lost that. Yeah, I know. I was when I seen where that hook was. I was really starting to worry. The one that got away was the bad fish as well. Oh, tripod. Got to reveal my name on YouTube. Fifty-seven ten. And it was, yeah, brilliant that. My new cat PB. I'm getting wet for you. Look up the trouser shot. I don't know if I'm wet. Half an hour in the yes. right swim is better than two days in the wrong. Yeah. Well done, mate. Right, just so is that you want, if you are wondering how we're managing to fish two lakes at once, well, that's our admin bivvy. You've seen the bivvies down there, and there is a pontoon. So we're fishing off the pontoon. We've got a hot spot which keeps producing cats, and all we're doing is literally taking it in turns to fish from the pontoon onto the hot spot and it's producing fish amazingly whereas our lake our carp lake although we've all caught one it is rather slow so the cat lake is keeping things rather exciting right let's raise a glass for the lads who can't be with us let's look forward to 2020 cheers gentlemen dilly 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 Mmm. <laughs> dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. 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 <laughs> and there we are, barbecue's lit. Math T UK Babs made. And something to go with dinner. And there we are, roughing it again. Roughing it again. I don't know what else to say. What say you? Is he ready yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Please don't do that, Ken. Okay. That's a frantic five minutes, isn't it? And there you go, Mr. P just released his second of his first ever brace. What I can say, mate, is absolutely well done. Job well done. Common and a mirror. Common, yeah, well, fantastic. Nice. Really, really pleased for you. 
My turn next, please. Thank you. We'll go for a please. shower now. Yeah, yeah, we've, we, you're, you're quite wet. It's because of that lovely cradle which holds all the water. You like that, don't you? I hate that cradle. <laughs> Really <laughs> cute little thing. Yeah. I quite like little ones. Well, there's Karen. Who are? You shut up, you. Okay. <laughs> Got you. Nice. Yeah. Back. Well done, mate. I'm oh, sorry. Bye. Bye. Goldie looking shame. Probably another broadcaster. Enjoying your football? It's alright. Yeah? Right. Coming home. Well that's, that's... This is nice though. Yeah that's, that's... How cold is that by the way? That is really cold. And how warm is it at the moment? <laughs> Red hot. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's been touching, what, 27 today? 27 today. 27 today, yeah. Part of tomorrow. Probably, probably two o'clock now. Um, I'm not in a sleeping mood. It has been a horrendously hot day. The, the, the reason I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt is because the bugs are tearing me to bits. Despite my insect repellent, I've not got the one I bought earlier this year to try. I didn't bring that with me. Duh. But I've got the usual stuff and it's not really working too well. Uh, Andy's just missed a... I think it was quite a big fish that. Uh, we don't know how big they go to in this lake. They don't beat our PBs, but they, uh, they're they re reasonable. I mean, we've had a 42 out, so that's a reasonable good fish, isn't it? So, um, But that, uh, that was definitely a 40 that was uh, that got, got off then. And poor Andy, uh, he had to get up and play it and, and lose it. Oh well, never mind, that's just the way it goes. At least he's had some action. I've had no action on this lake whatsoever myself. But when I say I've had no action, what I mean is I have caught off the off this lake but uh, I wasn't prepared to sit three rods doing nothing all day so I went over to the uh, cat lake and I set all my rods up on the cat lake and I had quite a lot of runs but unfortunately I lost every every single one of them and one got snagged up an amazing snag up I think I've, I've got some video of this I'll show you now and then others just came off and it was, you know, they were close too. And I'll show you that video now. Um, so I've been, I've been unlucky. And I, and I think unlucky is, a, is the right word. I've got the right rigs, right gear for this time, specifically looking for cats and I've just been unlucky. We've all had a carp, we've all had a cat. Uh, so, and I'm, we've, all, you know, we've all got PB cats now as well. So from that perspective alone, it's already worth the week that we've spent so and it's only Monday well technically now it's Tuesday morning good morning uh, but it's uh, it's been it's been worth it already because I've got a PB and that's the whole point isn't it so until then I'm gonna finish this wee bourbon Jim Bean and then I'm gonna hit the st hit, hit the uh, sack and in the morning when I'm up for it we're gonna drive to the local tackle shop which is 35 minutes away and replace a lot of the leads that we've lost because obviously we do a lot of uh, drop leads and and uh, yeah we're, we're running out of leads because we've had a lot of runs and a lot of leads dropped but not that many fish on the bank which is bloody annoying so off to the tackle shop more leads didn't expect this sort of number really at this time of year you know that you, you come in a hot month you expect it to slow down so hasn't slowed down as much as we thought it would
catch you later. See you later. Bye bye. Andrew has a lovely grass carp weighing in. I, I personally think it's late 30s. Let's see where we go. Oh, 37.1. And again, Mr. P is in, second fish of the day. Whereas Dave and I have nothing but silence of the lambs. I did say silence of the lambs, yes. Alarms. That's what I said, lambs. Thirty-one eight. We think we've got the uh, biggest cat on the of the week so far on the end of here. Definitely. It's got a big, huge heed on it. Get your hands in those choppers. You got it. You got it. That's a pig. Well done, Dave. Well, that's a well done, Andy. That's big isn't it? That's an 80. Yeah. And the scores on, on the, the doors. doors. Told you it was an 80. 83, 14. 83, 14. How did you land that night? You had the parts night. Congratulations. Six. Cheers, mate. Right. I Few words for the camera, David. Uh, this was an epic battle. Thanks, obviously, to Matt for not uh, giving me so much encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> no, team event, lads, as usual. Couldn't have landed it on my own. Catfish corner. Catfish corner. I'm just gonna go over there. On the red pellets. And for anyone that who doesn't know where Catfish it. Corner is, that is Catfish Corner today, and yesterday, and the day before. Well done, Dave. Cheers, the cracking fish, mate. And your system, you're using your boat rod off this pontoon has worked perfectly. Yeah, well it is fought ten times harder than them fifties. Yeah. Unless it's not coughing up uh Can we get some on the uh on me what? Oh. Yeah. Oh, come on. There he is. 348 in the afternoon. <laughs> Matt moved your rods over, didn't you? Have yeah. a go for the cats and within what? An hour? Yeah, an hour. A 40 pounder straight away. Really pleased with good that. Good scrap, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a good little fight. I thought it was bigger, but I ain't complaining. It's put up a good good old account of no itself. No way am I complaining. I said to the lads this morning on Facebook that was on it like grommet. <laughs> and there you go. Yeah, grommet baits every time. Grommet baits. Popped up grommet. That's, that, that is Colin the Koi Pew. Colin. Why do you call it Colin? Because uh, it rained with... Can you see him, Andy? Yeah. I'm just going to shut this a bit. There's one thing that you don't realise when you come here the is that the frogs will drive you mental all night. lads have gone to sleep now which is a fair shout it's a long day it's been a long slow slow day nobody's caught anything today except early hours and because I'm sat here on my own now what I'm gonna do before I turn in I'm gonna to toast the good health to the woods walker so a little bit of a Jack Dan's and I'm gonna to say to you Wade you deserve it well done mate I'm really proud of you. Happy 2000. That'd be bigger than what you think. Oh. Yeah. Got 73. Well done, mate. Another PB. Another PB. <laughs> 73, 73 pounds. Brilliant. And how long did it take? <laughs> that was a. I'm so pleased. I am so pleased. 
7310. 13, wasn't it? What a dobber. Is that the rod over there? Yeah, that's. That's I've not seen one with a belly like that. Looks mm. like it's eating a carp. White boilies. It's all in white boilies. There we go. Well yeah, done, no. Matthew. Have you got your, do you want your phone footage? I haven't got my phone, sorry. I'll take it from the camera. It's a nice angle from here, Andy. Zooming in. You can see both bellies. <laughs> well, it's actually fuller for a white boiler. Right. Yeah. Are you time to let it go? Hold that. Let it go. I don't want it to slide down. <coughs> That's it. That's it. Right. Yeah. Fifty. What a damn good guess. You're even guessing them. 51 2. 51 2. I'm still pleased with that. That's a 50 Yeah, another good one. It's not every day pull 50s, 60s, 70s. No, it's out, not. It? No. £50 2. Second cat of the day. Marvellous. Well, I'll give some water it. <laughs> Thank you for your help, David. Mate, it doesn't matter. That's what it's all about. Get another. At the moment, we're winning the cats. We're not losing them. That was right on the branches. Its tail slapped up. He must have just got it. To for me, the carp lake is pretty much a non-starter. Um, I'm in the middle of the lake. I'm doing all the right things, but I'm not producing the fish. Um, I did have a run this morning. Lost it. Came off. Could have been a foul hook. I, I don't know. At the end of the day, it's not. I've got one fish out of that water, but I've got more out of this one. So I'm going to concentrate for the remainder of the holiday on cats, I think, now. Um, because it's just too warm. The air in trainer isn't working. So that water's just getting warmer and warmer and warmer. And yeah, it's not a good thing, that. We've told them that it's not working. But uh, he hasn't come around and fixed it yet. So all my efforts now are going to be, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll keep the rods in the carp lake, but overnight, but I, 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 I don't know, can't get that one to work for me. But this one I can, two today, 73 and a 50 catfish. Outstanding, absolutely outstanding. Uh, Dave's had another 70. And he had some carp this morning, and he had a carp last night in his swim. But, uh, yeah, for me, the, the isn't, carping isn't happening this time around, so never mind. There's not enough room on that pontoon for three rods. So the only way I can do it is to come up here, be separate. Well, they have to sit on your rods because what they do here. As soon as you, as soon as it rips off, it takes you straight into the trees. It knows how to snag you up, and they will fight to get into those trees. So you have got to have the right gear to, to not let them in the trees, and that's all you can do. All you can do is just lock down and hang on. And get them into the open water then you stand a chance but they for the first 10-15 minutes they will fight straight for the snags and they will snag you up we've found that and we've learned now this lake we've learned a little bit more about it so my recommendations if i was coming here again what would i bring i would definitely bring a boat rod for the pontoon fishing off the boat pontoon and a multiplier i would also have the heaviest braid that i could get and the strongest hooks as well and that's that's basically it you, you need to be able to lock down lock down and uh, pull <laughs> otherwise you will lose all your rigs now if you watch this video and that happens to you you haven't heed my warning <laughs>
Just going to do a quick shout out to George, Brian and Barry. Brian and Barry are coming to this complex in a few weeks time and uh, George has just been around and had a nosy to have a look at what the setup's like and try to give them a few heads up. Well gentlemen, I can say this. Fish off the pontoon and fish to your left in that alcove. As you sit, stand on the pontoon, look to your left and just drop a bait in there and keep food going in there and you will catch catfish. They are up to, and we've had up to 80 pounds so far, but there are some smaller ones and I think the smallest one we've had is 40 and that would have been my PB anyhow. But, um, so that's what to do. On the lake itself, George has got some pictures that he's showing you and uh, the best one that's uh, producing is, well you just heard one, is in next to the cabin in the corner in that bay. There's fish in there all day, every day. Um, the least swim that's produced is the one in the middle and the one on the far end on the far bank up against the line of trees that's starting to produce some now as well but uh, unfortunately I'm in the wrong swim I'm the one that's in the middle and I'm not doing very well at all on this lake but there you go whereas Andy's just creaming it at the moment so I hope you have a good time I hope you enjoy your fishing and it's a tremendous place and I guarantee you you will be getting PBs so good luck guys They haven't moved for a week. And I'm over by those trees where the fish were showing, but it's pointless. So I'm going to sit down here now and I'm going to put tiger nuts on for the last 24, and that's it. There's a real snug Lit margin in there, isn't it? Yeah. Literally just 10 minutes after we've just pulled mine out, Dave is on again. There's Dave. Infinity. I thought my catfish corner had gone to your catfish corner. Jesus. Dave is proper bullying it in. We know there's snags over there, and if you give them half a chance, they will go into the snags. And it's a fight to keep them out. <sighs> My back is aching. <sighs> it's a long one. I don't know if it's as, it's nowhere near as fat as that one you have. Seventy five five. I'll take that. Throw it in. <laughs> Seventy-five five. That is an awesome fish. It's only two pounds smaller than your one, wasn't it? Bigger. Smaller. Seventy-five pound fish. Wanna do a couple on the phone for me? Yeah. And we'll get it. Can I have to see Dave? Yeah, it's not, not a brilliant screen. Just do what you think it is. I've got quite a lot of these now. The video was the best thing for it. Here we are again, Matt. My swim, your swim. My swim, your swim. Well done, Dave. Yeah. Awesome well, fish. Thanks for land, land, landing it for me. You can't do this on your own, can you? No, you can't, no. Oh, okay, we're done. Let's get him back in. Let's do it the easy way, shall we? Yeah. And here we go. Look at that. And there he goes. Perfect return that. Beautiful. I'll tell you what, that that, this that is kip just sheet a... just works perfect, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, because they're on slime. Some, um, uh, a little bit of sweet corn in there as well. Um, what, what the What's Gromit doing? I think he's after that Did stick he threw in later. That was a PVA stick. A PVA stick. Gromit! 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 Come back! Gromit! <laughs> What a disobedient dog. Can you do, well, can you do a dog whistle? <laughs> Not with his teeth. <laughs> oh, he's coming back. He's coming back there. Come Just on. Soon, son. Get back there, son. Get out of me swim. Come on, bugger off. Bloody grommet. Go on, talk us through it, Matt. Well, this again, a little bit of effort put in, moved across. Um, one halibut pellet and two boilies, meaty boilies uh, and that was it, just 
kept feeding the spots again, kept feeding the same spot, and up she come. Look at the size of that thing. Another just short of 60 pound, wasn't it? Yeah. What a battle as well. This this was the uh, hardest fight yet, really. Yeah, by the last one, which, really which snapped was... 75 pound hunt length. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we've got her, and here she is. Third one today, absolutely over the moon. Brilliant that mate. I'll just get a couple of pictures on my camera if you don't yeah, mind. No. Treacherous bit. Yeah, that's an eight foot drop. I know, I nearly felt it. Oh, there's no glamour here. That went off strongly. And a splash just to stand it. Well done mate, well done again. Fish line, the best kind. <laughs> Yeah, some mornings you seem to be covered in that for some reason. <clears throat> oh, 53, 73, and another 53 in the same day. That's amazing. I never thought I'd catch something like that. This is turning out to be absolutely fantastic lake. I love it. Absolutely love it. So, uh, uh, I think it is definitely time for a celebratory beer and uh, one final boatload for the day. We, we don't fish, we don't fish this at night because it's hard work and we don't, we don't want to fish it at night. So we, come tea time we shut down and we go back onto the carp lake, which is producing, for me, nothing. So, but I don't care because today is already a success. Today for me is, is my day today. I've really enjoyed it. So I am moved again did what I had to do and it's paid off. So it's fantastic, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. What a day, so far. Here we go, just a few minutes later, Andy P is now playing his fish. Just one more rod to rip off. And that's that'd be, the complete brace. That'll be Dave's again, because it certainly won't be bloody mine, will it? Oh, it will. <laughs> it's fault. Oh, never mind, Mr. P. Boy, that can't be caught. And he's just caught it. It's still wet the same. Well done, Mr. P. Thank you. This is this is the fish that could not be caught according to the last gang. So, you've done really well there, mate. Two oranges together. That sun is a killer. So, I'll put my tap up. Well, when it started going over there, it knew, it knew exactly where to go. Well, that's done as more catfish that snag than anywhere else, hasn't it? There might be another rig on this one then. Might be, there might be a left bank lefty. Come on out. Fifty-eight pound eight. Fifty-nine eight. Fifty-nine eight. Not bad. Yeah, Fifty-two. Fifty-two five. Hold on. Thanks, Dave. That's uh, another cat this morning. Fifty-two five. And now 
for the fun release. There's just something funny about that, isn't it? <laughs> Again, thank you, Dave. Oh, no, no problem. See you in about half an hour. See you in half an hour. Oh, no, my cat plate has been damaged. I'll have to file it round, colour it in, fill it in, and it'll be fine. It'll be absolutely fine. It will be fine. It will be fine. The cat plate will be fine. It will be fine. I have broken now my camera, my bait boat, and now my plate. It has not been a successful week with breakages. Booger. Probably going to start packing up my cat rigs now. I'm packing up my cat gear from around here. I've done all my baiting. Whoever the next person is on this lake won't see this video because it won't be out in time. But if that person is lucky enough to cast a bait out into that corner over there, which why wouldn't you in the first place, then He's in for an awesome time. I never expected, as you know, I expected maybe one, maybe two catfish, not six. I think maybe, maybe, maybe even more than that, I'm not sure. But it's been my savior, this cat, catfish lake, because my swim on the carp lake has just produced nothing for me at all. It's, it's one fish, you know. I, mean, I was the first to catch, so it's not a blank, so it's not a complaint. It's hot. The air and training doesn't work. In my part of the swim, it's not happening for me. Andy's part of the swim, they've been there all the way through, and the lad was just on it right from the word go, and he's done fantastically well. Dave has made the best out of a bad swim. Uh, he, did, he thought it was a shit swim, to be fair, but at the end of the day, he produced more fish than me, so it can't be that bad, can it? Um, yeah, I've, um, this was my saving grace, this catfish lake. I really wanted to come here anyhow and have a go at cats. Dave has mastered that more than anyone. He found the first swim and, and he then shared it with everybody. But at the moment, the 24 hours I had in that swim, I didn't catch a bleeding thing. So, but I, and it was the same rig, same rod, same everything, and it didn't happen for me. But. So I decided to move back over here again. So I moved here, went over there, and came back here. And it's paid off massively. Um, don't sit on your ass, get out there. This is a fantastic complex. Morgan Lakes is brilliant when it's hot because you always have the catfish option. You don't have to fish the cat lake. You can fish this one. And as long as you've got the right gear, you can do it. And it has been tremendous and, and I've loved it. I think it, Dave's just shouting out he's in. Right, false alarm. Dave was rescuing his bait bucket lid, the wind caught up and blew it in. So, um, what else can I say? Fantastic lake. Dave has done extremely well. Andy's done extremely well. I've done average. I don't mind average. I went out to get cats and I got them. So I'm quite happy with what I've got. I will never complain at that. I'm catching fish. Why would you complain at catching fish? That's what I'm here to do. I Andy. think I like it. Andy. Andrew, yeah, I would like your comments on Dave's uh, um, Dave's mild curry, boily curry. <laughs> Can't talk. <laughs> Dave, yep. What do you think of the boily hiccup curry? Absolutely excellent. Mhm. Mm if it was winter, mhm, mm you'd say hotter, wouldn't you? But it's not. No, I really wouldn't. No. <coughs> And the best thing you could have is a curry. And this is just far too hot. We call it the boily curry. Andy? Andy? Hello, Andy? Andy, I can see your head. Andy? You're swimming again. Baldy. <laughs> Andy? Lifeline. I think I've got him. I've got him. You've got I've him. I've got him. He's there. He's there. I'm going to have to administer. I'll just get the ring. The ring first. No, no, keep coming. Oh, oh God, he's hot. Right. Do you know what? He's so sensible. He, he still used sun cream. 
Because he ain't going to burn on holiday. No, he ain't. He's and that's a tip, folks. Yeah. Always remember, <laughs> even if you may drown, always apply decent sun. Because you're very hard to pull out once you're covered in sun cream. <laughs> very hard. Andy? Uh, yeah, well, we don't know where he is. Oh, well. The legend lives on. Let's go. A new hat owner. 15 years it's took me to get that hat. 15 years. We've had a few adventures this week. Definitely. Oh, can I take your ring again? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah you, you grab hold my ring. I've got your ring. Be gentle. Well lubricated. What do you think of this place? What, what's your opinion of this place? Well, without, you know, saying a lot of words. It's all right. Ah. <laughs> no, it's been very good. A very good trip. Hard. I was expecting more. Not easy. It's been very hard. No, it's not. Yeah. Up to 32 degrees. Fish have not been feeding in the carp lake at all. Yeah. Apart from uh, Andy Golden Bulls. He's had them bouncing all over him. But still, only little bits of bait and... Picking the odd fish up every morning. Uh, no, I've enjoyed it. It's just, again, it's been very hot. It's a hard time of the year to catch fish, isn't it? Mm, yeah, it is. You know, a few hours in the morning and that's your window. Yeah, you, the rest you... of the day, there's no chance. What about the uh, cat lake? What's, Catfish what... is very good. That's been a welcome surprise. We've had quite a learning curve, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. We've gone from zero to 70 to 80, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Your, your PB being... Well, now he's 83 and something, but yeah. we've had so many 70s, 60s, 50s, 40s, 30s. Yeah. You, you, uh, it's, a, it's a fair show. You can't see all of those fish because, purely and simply, it's the same format, the same thing, dragging a fish out, putting a fish back in. Yeah, it's a hard battle from the yeah. moment they hit. You've but, got to be on your rod, as I know you've said. Yeah. You've got to be on them because it is, it's root bound and tree laden in it, the, yeah. the edges all the way around, as I think you've shown on your video. And uh, if you can get them out of them snags, you've got a very good chance of landing yeah. them. But if you're not on your rod. So, recommendations for tackle? Just strong. Doesn't have to be uh, finesse, does it? It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to look good. A strong nope. hook. I've been going through forty pound, fifty pound line straight through. Yeah. Uh, you've been up to a seventy-five pound hook length, haven't you? Yeah, seventy-five size, size hook length. Size one oh hook. Uh, yeah, and stainless and hooks. Yeah. And and fifty. If you love your cats and you love your carp. Just give it a give it a go. Give it We've a had go. a really good yeah. week. And yeah. A lot of the lakes around here have struggled this time of the year, haven't they? Oh, I said that. Uh, and the catfish lake yeah. seems to fish every single day. So because of the depth. Yeah. If you can split your teams up and work as a team, you can have good results. Teamwork is the key. Yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. Uh, you need a hand yeah. landing them. You need a hand. You know. You need a hand with everything when you're carping yeah. or, or catfish fishing. Do not come here on your own. Come here with unless you're really experienced. Yeah. yeah. It's it's not the place for a. Uh, a novice on his own. This is this is a place for an experienced catfisher. We found that out very early on. Uh, working as a team is vital, not only for you but also for the fish too. So that's it. I can see the lights really going now. So, uh, au revoir. Yeah, it's been a good week, hasn't it? Yeah, au revoir. And cheers. Last drink. Well, that was France 2018. What do you think, Andrew? I got Dave's thoughts last night. Didn't get yours. I was just waiting. That's right. It's been wonderful, again. I think you sort of like come up top rod, do you think? I don't know. I don't know this. It's a team event. Quite well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah it was, it was, it was a, another amazing trip, wasn't it, really? Yeah, fantastic. Okay. All good fun. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Yeah. We're thinking of the next one now, boys, aren't we? That's it. Yeah. I'm sure we can get somewhere next year. Yeah. Oh well. A late cancellation somewhere. That's it. End of this one. <coughs> See you in the next one. Bye bye. Wave goodbye, Dave. Thank you. Bye bye. What? I have lost. We're all dead.